broadcasting live from New Sin Stadium in Nashville, home of the Lycans and the world capital of country music. Uh, I just love country music, Grim. Always some sweet song about a man's family or his dog. Or how he had sex with all of them. There's my smokes. Today's matchup promises severed limbs and ruined careers and lots of lots of beers. The insane Colts go up against the Nashville Lycans. Welcome to NFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. <laughs> Welcome to NFL Sunday School, where the good playbook teaches it's an eye for no reason, a tooth for an eight ball, and a limb for just looking at me the wrong way. NFL game day is on the air. Grim Blitzrow, my partner's Bricks and Bricks Jr. Hey, man, these guys flat out want to kill each other today. Yeah, these are the kind of games families come out to see. It's good for the sport. You know what I like about this home team is 90% of them were born criminally insane. You can't teach that. And it's first and ten. <laughs> and that's a work feet dirty trick, and the ball hits the field incomplete. He threw it when no one could catch it. Some things like that in the quarterback. Second down and ten. <laughs> No, they couldn't pick up a first down, so now they have to punt. And he booted a high arcing rainbow. And he just lets that one go. He says, no, thank you. And the defense downs it. First and ten. And that's a nice run for a first down. And it's first and ten. his way out of that tackle. Murphy Brown! What? Oh, no, that was totally unnecessary. <laughs> I gotta see that one again. He was also freaking awesome! Yeah, I hope they have raincoats in the front row because that was splattering everywhere. And it's first and ten. So much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Grim. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. Second down and more than the QB would like.
Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. Straight through the uprights. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not yawn. And it's first and ten. A brutal head-on collision. Not only does he drop the ball, but someone's going to be taking a long nap after that hit. Second down and ten. Third down and long. and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. And it's first and ten. <laughs> Boom to the moon! Another loser fights the dust. In the NFL, winning is really about how much you want it, Bricks. Well, he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy. That's a good point, Grim. Hell no, son Catch. And that'll bring up second and one. And the ground game is starting to soften up the defense. Oh, you knew you were going to see a lot of carnage today, folks. These teams have bad blood between them. Apparently, they got it from the same blood mobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck. Raccoon Ravy blood is my thought. Oh, the player's favorite. First and two. Mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. First and ten. And he held on to that one for a first down. And it's first and ten. Pow! With the brain scrambler. Second down in a very lot. Bam! Say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Ah, uh, goodnight to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. The offense lost another running back and only two remain on their roster. When a team loses all their running backs, they lose their ability to run the ball. Hey, like if I rip out your tongue, you won't be able to speak. Tell us something we don't know, genius. Third down and ten. Yeah, something went very wrong with that box away. What was your first hit? The lack of blood everyone having on their limbs? Teacher. 
And the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is in palm cream. That cross pitching, unbelievable. No return on this punt. The defense will just down it. I can't tell if he's smart or scared. Either way, the ball is down. And it's first and ten. And he just used his beast boost dirty trick, and there's no way to stop him. Unless, of course, you kill him. Oh, the unstoppable force meets the explodable object. Oh, this guy just loves punishing the defenders. That's a first down. And the offense has only two running backs left, and the defense is licking their lips. First and ten. And this guy is fumble. You've got to protect the ball better than that. And he's off to the races. He's at the ten. And he bursts into the end zone for the score. What a run. Since when is that a penalty? Uh, since now, I guess, Grim. First down and less than a yard. Defense had enough with this ref and jumps off sides to kill him. <laughs> and the ref runs out of bounds and manages to survive somehow. At least for another 40 seconds. First and ten. Defense says enough of this BS and jumps off sides to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. <laughs> and it's first and ten. And picks up maybe a deuce at most. Mama, just call him Cap and Crunch. Another one bites the dust. I thought the only tie we'd see would be a noose. Instead, they're in a dead heat. Tie game at the end of one. And that'll be second and eight to go. Traps will kill you faster than one of Brick's farts. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. And it's first and ten. way you play a guy. Nice coverage. Second down and ten. This is your brain. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path and the body toll continues to climb. <laughs> running back. No rest for the weary. The last runner has to suck it up and hopefully not die. Third down and the punter is warming up. Oh, nice hit! With the vicious kill! Did you know light hits are one of the leading causes of death for mutants over 25? I didn't know that. Yeah, right below attending bachelor parties and owning a Sam Schwong Galaxy phone. Oh, look at this guy. Oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. And it's first and ten.
It's first and ten. to say about this guy except maybe a eulogy. Ah, uh, well, he was a violent alcoholic, a terrible father, and uh, he did some nasty things to dogs. <clears throat> but, uh, I mean, he was a great ball player. Uh, you know, that's really what counts at the end of the day, right? And it's first and ten. right now. Oh, man, he just laid the wood on that guy. Yeah, if you're gonna hit a guy that hard, you should at least kill him. Do him a favor. Finish him. And it's first and ten. Almost intercepted. Second down and ten. The cornerback goes down. Zoom on his face. I want to see if he's crying. <laughs> Third down and, well, good luck. No doubt about it, that guy is dead. He says, I'm taking you with me. Oh, with the brutal hit. The offense is running low on quarterbacks. They have only two left. They might consider running the ball more. And out comes the most underrated position in football, the mighty punter. Nice punt. Should move him back nicely. He's got the ball now and is going to try. Oh, man, he just got skewered by those spikes. That was bloody and disgusting. Hey, anyone in the mood for steak kebab? Make mine rare. And it's first and ten. The chain's moving. That was beautiful. And it's first and ten. Now the offense is getting kills. This is really a violent game, guys. He's at the party. He's at the 30. He's at the... Man, he just laid the wood on him on that one and knocked the ball out. It's a touchdown! Should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> the kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond.
take the interception. Batting it down is the next best thing. Great advice, Grim. That receiver's going to go far in this league if he listens to you. I wasn't talking to... Yeah, never mind. Yes, Brick, he will. Oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field in front of him. And they're catching up. Joke, job, go something. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? It's good. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. First and ten. Oh, look at this guy break. He could go all the way. Oh, that was totally uncalled for. And that's why we love the MFL. And it's first and ten. the Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey, I almost got that mutant bingo. All I need is 77 to fight it. And it's first and ten. Right, the QB is going to have more interceptions than completions. Oh, the unstoppable force meets the explodable object. You ever get hit in the head with a photo, Grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. And it's first and ten. Say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Ah, uh, goodnight to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. The offense has only one quarterback left. If he dies, it's game over. Nah, this new QB he don't even look too confident. He's bleeding with the coach on the sidelines about something. Yeah, he's telling his coach to punt. What a pussy. And it's first and ten. for a first down. Oh, man, he just killed that guy when the play was over. Well, if the ref didn't see it, at least the mortician did. He's coming out in the field now. <laughs> the offense lost another receiver on that play, and only two remain on the roster. When a team loses all the receivers, they have to forfeit. The quarterback shifts gears and goes into his hurry-up offense. I don't know whose eyes the QB is using, but can we get him some new ones? Ouch! What is this, Andy's wrestling? The offense is down to their final receiver. They'll be playing shorthanded for the rest of the game. Uh, and if they lose him, will they have to forfeit? Pressure. I'm gonna have to take the value before this one ends. Hey, y'all been out on me. And it's first and ten. They are, but sometimes the defense thinks they're helping out in their own special way. Second down and a lot. 
Sound of bones snapping and cracking. Imagine a hell of a cheap shot. <laughs> Gotta love it. Smart move there, stopping the clock with their first time out. And for all you know, maybe he's just stalling or wiring the ref some cash. And it's first and ten. <laughs> he's not going down. simple game when it comes down to it. They stop the clock, but they only have one timeout left. Ah, that's okay, Grim. They can have mine. That's, uh, that's nice, Bricks. But our timeouts are for our sponsors, and we need money more than they do. Oh, and that's how you play defense. Of course, he, he could have had an interception. It's a tie game at the end of quarter two. The teams are deadlocked in a fierce struggle today. We'll be right back with today's halftime show brought to you by Monsatan Industries. Eat their delicious Franken food. Hey, throw in the half. Can you pick me up with soil and beer? And they're taking the field for the second half, and we have got a tie score. Uh, speaking of tie, Grim, me and Hot Wanda, we want to try something different, so we tied each other up the other night, and nothing happened because we were both tied up. I don't understand what the big deal is. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. <laughs> Boom, and he's dead. Oh, bingo, bingo, bingo. I got bingo, Grim. Batan, and the defense is on his heels. Turner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You know, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably grabbed his pants. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. Misses that extra point. Oh, well, look at clown shoes down there. Is he wearing actual clown shoes? I think so. Probably why he missed. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. I turned out the light. It wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. And it's first and ten. by the defense. It's not too often a quarterback gets rejected. That's why that's the position I originally tried out for. I want to know what it's like for other people to accept you. Now that went from a joke to making me feel feelings. Stop it. And there's another pick. Man, this quarterback must have learned a lot about sharing when he was in school. Yeah, that's what Oh, I'm man, his neck vertebrae just got crunched. It sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips. As they say at the deli, oh, and the late hitter, the Lycans obliterate the opposition and win by forfeit. Victory snatched from the jaws of four feet. Get it, Grim? Yeah, not so much, partner. Not so much. The entire game was trench warfare. Both teams battling back and forth, bruised and battered, but in the end, there could be only one winner. There are winners in my book. I think that a feeder team should get a participation award because yeah, I tried really hard. Why don't you try real hard to shut the fuck up? Nice mouth. Why don't you try to lay off the scotch, Junior? Suck on it. Real nice. Let's go to the game's MVP. <laughs> Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.